Hi everyone, I'm Rosemarie Miller here with David Bonson, the Chief Investment Officer of the Bonson Group, here to discuss McDonald's earnings. Thank you so much for joining me today, David. Well, thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. So David, how would you analyze McDonald's earnings performance in comparison to the previous quarter? Well, in terms of uh, the previous quarter, I think the difference here is you got full year end data and it was really quite interesting to see the uh, same store comparables. It was really robust same store growth in the United States. Uh, they've really held their pricing power very well. It was a little bit lower globally, but then they um, are targeting 2100 new restaurants opening next year, some franchise, some store owned. And so our big focus was kind of on their guidance into 2024. And frankly, I really liked most of what I heard. And you said it was kind of low globally. Did that have anything to do with the Israel Hamas situation? Could you discuss that? Yeah, I don't think that that had much of an impact mathematically. Um, in terms of the same store, we think the total Mideast region may have only um, affected it about 0.2%. So marginally, it, it definitely weighs in. There was, ob for obvious reasons, a deterioration of revenue growth there. But the way it blended totally, I just think uh, that their projection of over 4% same-store growth globally was a little ambitious. They ended up coming in at 3.4%. So that same-store comparables globally was still very, very good. You combine that with another the amount of unit growth they've had, really meaning just new restaurants, new franchises. Um, uh, their their whole story has been fundamentally very impressive. Well, were there any challenges or opportunities highlighted in the earnings report that stood out to you? I think the challenge for uh, shareholders just continues to be the reality of the stock. This is no longer a secret. The power of this company, we've been invested in it since 2009, it was $50, it's now near $300. And so getting 6X on your money in a fast food company that owns a ton of real estate is not normal. And, and we I basically right now are struggling with the fact that the world knows the whole story, that they're a very consistent performer, a huge free cash flow generator, and so that's priced into the stock. So it's less of a value play than it used to be and, and more of something that for people putting new capital to work, they're paying up a little bit compared to some of us that got a little luckier at our entry point. Mm -hmm. and, and you mentioned other fast food restaurants. How does McDonald's performance compare to its competitors in the fast food industry? Uh, there is absolutely, absolutely no comparison. Um, we don't own any other fast food companies, and the vast majority of them are quite discretionary, very cyclical. There's a whole bunch that don't even make money, a lot of debt, a lot of leverage. Uh, McDonald's has 90% free cash flow conversion. Um, the, the, their ability to self-fund and not, reply, not rely on capital markets, they don't have any competitors that can say that. And so there's others out there that in the public universe uh, that, that may be getting by making money. It's not a sector we hate for the sake of hating, but McDonald's um, growth globally, their real estate empire, their franchise relationships and their free cash flow generation and conversion, such a high return on equity as a, as a great dividend grower and dividend payer, McDonald's truly is in a league of their own. So, from a market perspective, how did investors react to McDonald's earnings and what factors influenced the market sentiment? You know, it's very difficult to ever look at uh, individual companies' results in terms of market reaction on a day when the whole market is sold off. And so, uh, the Dow has been down as much as 400 points today as we're sitting here talking. It's right now down about 350. And McDonald's is down and more than the market, but you have to figure that some of the impact in the stock price of McDonald's is related to the overall market sell-off. Uh, you definitely are getting a buy the rumor, sell the news type deal. McDonald's being down a little bit after the performance they've had uh, over the last uh, quarter and year, and not to mention many, many years, um, is not unexpected. You know, when they continue to outperform expectations quarter over quarter, and they come in this quarter with a good number, they beat on earnings, but we're a little soft on revenue and a little soft on guidance, you'd expect it to sell off a little. Unfortunately, we'd like to see it sell off a lot more because we'd love to come in and buy a significant um, amount. 
but at $283, it isn't cheap enough for us to come in and buy heavily, but we're certainly keeping our full position. Like I said, we've been heavy investors for a very long time. So in your opinion, what are the critical takeaways or noteworthy aspects that investors and stakeholders should pay attention to in McDonald's latest earning release? Um, number one is the pricing power. If they were having to all of a sudden soften price levels coming out of the higher input prices and some of the inflationary pressures in 2021, 22, anyone who goes and brings their family through the drive through McDonald's now knows prices are higher. And there just simply hasn't been any evident impact at all of that hurting volumes, hurting sales. So the biggest takeaway would be McDonald's continues to have remarkable pricing power, which is a wonderful thing for investors. Their cost structure is hung in there. They've been very successful with kiosks and automation and digital technology enhancements. And then how they execute globally for 24 will be a big question. Uh, 2,100 restaurants, 1,600 net. There will be some closings and then some degree of, of new openings across both franchise and store owned, uh, can they execute there? That's pretty substantial unit growth. And uh, that's what we're looking to in terms of guidance for 2024. Well, David, is there anything else on your radar regarding McDonald's earnings that you believe should be on ours? Um, not, nothing in the immediate short term. The bigger story here is a real estate company that sells the greatest French fries the world's ever seen and is up 67,000% from the time they went public um, as just one of the world's wonderful dividend growing stocks. That's why we own it. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely.